What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy, KD. Let's get right into it. So two months ago, I made a video about the type of women that you guys should definitely stay away from. Uh, it's a really great video. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description so you can definitely check that one out after you watch this one. But today is going to be part two of the type of women that you should not take seriously or date. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the first type of woman that you shouldn't take serious is actually the type of woman that I mentioned in the first video, but I want to recap on this type of woman because this is a topic that is continuously talked about on social media by men and women, and I just want to address it again to give you guys a reiteration of something that is very important, and that is the fact that you should not be dating single moms. All right, fellas, now there will be a lot of women and a lot of men that will tell you that it is okay to date single moms. It is okay to date a woman that has had a baby by a man that is not you. All right, just listen to how that sounds, fellas. Now, we all have gone through a phase in our life where we've probably dated or messed with single moms. Some of us haven't, but most of us have. You can't lie, all right? You got to keep it G. We all have dated or dabbled in single moms. But when it comes to a long-term relationship or, or if you're thinking about taking a woman seriously, single moms is not an option, geez, all right? Definitely not an option. Anytime that I've dealt with a single mom, it never ended well. Obviously, any of my past relationships ended, obviously, because I'm not still in them. But any of them that I had with a single mom did not end well, all right? For many reasons and different reasons and different scenarios, but guys, there are many problems that come with single moms. The first thing is the baggage, all right? And I think that's the main thing because when you're dating a single mom, you're literally dealing with somebody else's problems because when a woman is taking care of a kid, anything that has to do with that kid is going to affect her life, whether in a positive or negative way, all right? And then that goes towards the baby daddy. Anything that the baby daddy does, it affects the kid, which ultimately affects the woman. All right, guys, now there are many other reasons, but this is the main one, and this is just one of the many. All right, guys, so you got to understand when you're dealing with women with a lot of baggage, you got to understand that you're inviting problems into your life. Okay, fellas, so you don't have time to be finding out whether her baby daddy is in her life or whether the baby daddy is a good man or whether it's more than one father or she has multiple kids. You don't have time for that. Just don't deal with single moms. All right, guys, there are too many women out there that don't have kids because this is the thing. When you're dealing with a woman, there's going to be problems. All right, there's going to be issues. There's never a time where you're going to deal with a woman and there not be some problems that may arise from time to time. But when you start dating single moms, you invite the chances of more problems coming, guys. Trust me on this. I have dealt with this many, many times in my past. And like I said, anytime I dated a single mom, it never ended well. All right. Never ended well. Because when you date single moms, you are deemed in most cases to have responsibility not only for her, but for her children as well. But more times than not, you don't have any authority over her kids and probably not even over her. You know, and authority is not a bad thing. Authority is actually a good thing because authority means guidance. Authority means leadership. All right. But most times, in most cases, when dating single moms, you have the responsibility, but the authority doesn't come along as well with it. All right, guys. So don't put yourself in that situation and don't let people and social media and propaganda influence you that dating single moms is the way you should go. And please don't let people influence you that if you opt out of dating single moms, you're a bad person or you're toxic or you're a narcissist or any of the buzzwords that people and feminists use today. All right, fellas, so another woman that you should not dare to take seriously is women who post thirst traps on social media. Also, obviously, women who do OnlyFans, but let's just stick with the thirst traps, all right? Obviously, you should know 100% you should never deal with a woman who's done or does OnlyFans. But when it comes to the thirst traps, guys, listen, when you are dating a woman or you're taking a woman seriously who posts thirst traps online, who posts Nick well, not necessarily, but damn near naked these days, but who post half naked pictures, who post pictures provocative and, and secular pictures online, and she's dating you or you guys are in a relationship. Guys, you are basically a simp, pretty much. 
All right, guys. Now, I know, I know you got a lot of celebrities out there who let their women do it. And a lot of famous people you may look up to that does it as well. But fellas, fellas, this, <laughs> this is literally you being a beta male, pretty much, okay? Any man in his right mind, and if he can be honest with himself, knows that he does not want any other man having access, let alone even being able to look at his girl in that way. All right, I know I don't. All right. And this is not you being insecure. This is not you being a narcissist or whatever. This is you being a real man. OK, because if you ask 100 percent of men, 100 percent of men will agree that if they had the choice whether to keep their girl exclusively to them, meaning even men even looking at her or being able to look at her in that provocative way. Or if, if he was able to let everybody see her, he would choose the first option. He would choose, no, I don't want people looking at my girl. That's mine. Because men, masculine men are territorial by nature. The more masculine a man is, the more territorial he's going to be. Okay. And that goes along with his woman as well. He doesn't want people looking at his girl. You as a man shouldn't want people to be able to see your girl like that. Now, if she's fully dressed in a nice dress or something like that, that's okay. That's fine, guys. That's a pass. But if your girl is half naked or you're dealing with a woman who's posting half naked pictures on social media and she posting thirst trap and she got all these beta males and simps lining up, dropping all these heart emojis and, and water emojis and all this stuff, DMing her, fellas. Fellas, that is a no-go. You are literally a simp when you allow this to happen. Some guys may say, oh, no, I'm secure in my masculinity. I let my girl post whatever she want. Dude, you can be as secure as you want. They ain't got nothing to do with you being secure in your masculinity to not want another man to be able to see your girl like that. I don't want random men sitting on the toilet in the middle of the night scrolling through my girl pictures you know, playing with themselves. I, I don't want that. As a grown-ass man, I just don't want that. I don't even want the thought of that happening. So how do I eliminate that? I don't deal with women who post thirst traps, you know, and if I start dealing with a woman and she has pictures like that, I simply ask her to take them down or she politely takes them down herself without me asking. All right, fellas. So definitely do not deal with women who have all these thirst trap pictures on their Instagram, TikTok, social media profiles. All right, fellas, just don't deal with these women because these type of women need validation from men. It is obvious. Don't let them tell you any other reason. Don't let them tell you that they just posted for themselves. Don't let them tell you that they just posted because it's an expression of art or some whatever stupid reason they may give you. No, they post them because they want validation because that is the only thing that comes as a result of it. All right, fellas, so just stay away from these women entirely. All right, so the next type of woman that you should stay away from, fellas, and this one is going to be a little bit petty, but hear me out. You need to stay away from women with tattoos, all right? Now, I'm not talking about all tattoos, all right, because I'm not going to lie. I got tattoos. I think tattoos are sexy. I don't plan on getting any more tattoos. I don't want to date women who want to get more tattoos because of my religion and whatnot, but I don't find tattoos bad on women. But there are certain type of tattoos that are definitely red flags, fellas. And there's two type in particular, all right? One is the butterfly tattoo, all right? And any ladies that's watching this, if you got a butterfly tattoo, <laughs> what the hell ever. It is your fault you got it, all right? If you find a woman with a butterfly tattoo, fellas, what I am telling you and what that means is she is a hoe, all right? I have never, I have never, ever dealt with, met, or seen a woman with a butterfly tattoo that wasn't a hoe. I don't know what it is about the damn butterfly. And like I told y'all, this might be petty. Somebody about to jump on here and comment and say, oh, no, man, what you, that's petty. What you talking about? That's ignorant. Blah, 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 blah. Look, you tell me if you can find me a woman with a butterfly tattoo that's not a hoe, then I will change my mind about this. But until then, if you can prove me otherwise, then I'll change my mind. But until then. This is what it is because this is what I've seen. And I have met dozens, dozens of women with butterfly tattoos and every single one of them were hoes. They all were promiscuous, all right, fellas? The next type of tattoo that is a red flag on a woman is the tramp stamp, meaning the tattoo at the bottom of their back, right above their hips, right above the butt crack area, 
All right, fellas, that one right there is a given. All right, if you can find me one woman with a tramp stamp that's not a hoe, you win. All right, I changed my mind, but like I said, I am sticking to my guns. I'm standing on business about this. This is a real deal. All right, now if there are any more tattoos that I'm missing, and I might be missing a few more, but these are the main two. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with tattoos. I like tattoos. Okay, and I'll be a hypocrite to say tattoos are bad because I have them myself. But these specific tattoos are definitely red flags for us. <laughs> let's let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next type of woman that you should not take serious and you should not date is the type of woman who is looking for a partner. All right, guys. When a woman says she's looking for a partner, especially in 2024, more times than not, she's looking for a man who is equal to her. And I actually had a conversation with somebody about this the other day, and we were talking about are men equal to women? And my answer was no. All right, men are not equal to women. Men are not equal to other men. And women are not equal to other women. All right, how can people be equal to each other when we all have different capacities and we all can do things more than somebody, somebody else can do it? Or some people get paid more than other people. Or some people are treated better than other people. Or some people are higher in, in certain hierarchies than other people are. Humans aren't equal. We were not made equal. So that's why I actually hate that actual saying. But, and that's just my little two cents on that. You can debate me if you like. But on the fact that when women say they're looking for a partner, usually they want somebody equal to her. Usually they don't want a dominant man. All right, guys. And this is because somewhat because of the rise of feminism, why this is like this. But a lot of women today, they don't want a man that's above them. I mean, they, they, they're, they're fond of a man that's above them. They're aroused by one. They desire one and they're definitely attracted to one, but they don't want to settle down with one. Because women want to be in charge because there's this new age, you know, way of thinking when it comes to dating dynamics that men and women are equal. And that's definitely not the case. OK, every happy woman that I have saw in a relationship, the man was better than her in most realms or in all realms for that matter. All right, guys. And she wasn't tripped out on the fact about her wanting to be equal or her looking for a partner. A partner is somebody who's equal to you. I have partners in my life. You know, and but I don't I wouldn't look at my girl the same way as I look at my partners. My partners are equal to me. Not saying that I respect my partners more than my girl, or vice versa. Everybody gets the equal amount of respect. But my girl is not my partner. Okay, my girl is submissive to me. She's not my partner, she's my girl. All right, fellas. So when you when you're dealing with women who saying oh, I want a partner and you know and stuff like that, I want a best friend. And bro, stay away from these women, bro. Trust me, that is cold for I want a lesser dominant man i don't want a masculine man pretty much with it what she's trying to tell you all right or she's a feminist because that's really how feminists talk especially nowadays or women who've adopted feminist values and qualities all right fellas all right then the last type of woman you should stay away from and this is very important for you guys so pay attention stay away from women who don't have a faith or religion all right for all you guys who are watching that are atheists this is not for you obviously but for all you guys who believe in God, okay, and you follow God and you're a man of God, fellas, you got to stay away from women who don't believe in God or who don't have a religion or who don't have any type of faith back behind them. All right. Because a lot of because this is the thing, if you leave women and I'm going to be honest about this, if you leave women to their own vices, they're going to be in turmoil. They're going to they're going to head to destruction. All right. And feminine men as well. It's a feminine quality to not have order. If you leave women to their own vices, there will be a lot of chaos. All right, guys. But what helps a lot of women to overcome a lot of temptation and a lot of bad decisions and a lot of illogical decisions is God. OK, because women by nature, women just make bad decisions. They make bad, impulsive decisions. And we all know this. smart women know this and men understand this. All right, fellas, but if a woman has God in her life or if a woman has some type of faith or religion in her life, she has some type of moral background to stop her from making bad decisions that some random thought who doesn't believe in God would. All right. She has some type of moral compass to follow when those temptations arise. OK, when those bad things arise, when she wants to talk back to you or treat you like not as of a man as you are. All right, fellas. So you got to understand this. Only deal with women who have a faith. Like I said, if you're an atheist, this ain't for you. 
All right. But if you're a man of faith, only deal with women who, who are of faith. All right. Now, now these Bible girls, these church girls, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Those girls who got the Bible quotes uh, or scriptures in their Instagram pictures and posts and every other post on her page is some Bible quote. And she's like, she seems overly religious and she's posting pictures of her in church and she's spitting Bible quotes to you. And she's telling you that she only wants a man who reads no less than 10 Bible verses a day and all that stuff. Stay away from those women too, all right? You stay away from the church girls. Trust me, the church girls, because this is what the church girls do. At any time that she is losing an argument with you or at any time that you have the upper hand in any situation, she will throw God at you. And not in an encouraging, motivating way to get you to start thinking positively or help you out or anything like that. She is going to do it as a defense mechanism. It's like ammo for church girls. They start throwing Bible scriptures at you and start telling you things like a man of God wouldn't do this and a man of God wouldn't do that and blase, blase, blase. Trust me, me and a bunch of other men has dealt with this, fellas. So don't do it. Do not do it, fellas. Trust me on this. And then this is kind of complicated because you're like, okay, one, I want a girl who is of faith and I want a girl who believes in God and I want a girl who prays and reads the Bible, but I don't want to go with this obsessive church girl who is going to use God to manipulate me. Yeah, you got to, you got to vet the woman out. Okay. You got to vet the woman out. All right. The best way you can find this out is if she starts giving you all these requirements at the beginning of a relationship as to what she wants when it comes to God. What I mean is she starts telling you, oh, I want a man that's going to go to church with me every Sunday. And I want a man who's going to do this. And I want a man who's going to do this. And if none of this is matching her life, meaning she used to be a hoe and she got two different kids by two different dudes. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you want all this stuff. You want this manly God, man of God, but you're none of that. All right. Stay away from those type of girls. All right. The only way you should let that slide, meaning she's like this like church fanatic, is if she's a virgin. All right. Other than that, fellas, don't don't let that shit slide. All right. Do not let that shit slide. All that is, is just a defense mechanism that women use to like attack you because who wants to argue back about God? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like if she tells you a man of God should do this and she's pulling it out the Bible, who wants to argue about that? Like she automatically won pretty much, you know, like you're using the Bible against me. All right, fellas. And when you're dealing with secular problems and you're trying to use the Bible to, you know, fix them, you know, but it's, it's unbalanced. You get what I mean? Like that's don't don't deal with stuff like that. All right. I'm sure some of you fellas have dealt with it. I know I have. And I'm just warning you guys do not deal with these church girl fanatics. All right, fellas. So, like I said, there's certain type of women you should definitely stay away from if you want to deal with these type of women. Fellas, I've already told you the repercussions of what might happen. So just be careful. I'm not going to tell you what not to do. I'm just letting you know what's going to happen if you deal with these type of women. All right. I appreciate you guys for watching the video today. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. I'm going to put some links in the description so y'all can hit me up if you want to grab my top tier charisma fragrance or my top tier Superman fragrance, which is a summertime fragrance. If you want a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me for an hour so I can help you fix your problems and help you get closer to being the best version of yourself, hit me up on Instagram with a DM to request a coaching call. I want to help you guys out, fix all your problems, get you closer to living a fulfilled life and becoming a top-tier man. It's your boy, KD. We out of here, baby.